Welcome to a Maxic style upper body muscle control workout. So for this workout, you're going to spend one to two minutes roughly on each body part, easing into each muscle with no peak contractions, just coaxing or kneading them with your intention. Try to relax the surrounding muscles to the one that you're working on. Move on when you feel that the muscle's done, though this will become more obvious the more you do it. And breathing should remain relaxed and predominantly through the nose throughout. So begin with doing two or three vacuums just to get that center of your body locked in. So here we have what Maxic deemed incredibly important for overall health and vitality, and that's stomach vacuums. So to do this, you just wanna exhale all the air out of your lungs slowly, and then once you're empty, relax the stomach and shift the ribs forwards, not upwards, but just slightly forwards, and this should pull the stomach into this depression. Maxic stresses that there must be no abdominal muscular effort in this action and that it happens purely from external atmospheric pressure. So I hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds while it's relaxed and I explore around. I actually do like to do a little bit of pulling in. That's my own exploring. It kind of feels nice once it's I've done the relax and I've done the vacuum naturally. Then I do a little pull. I move the shift the ribs to the left, shift the ribs to the right and I kind of find like a nice massage on my organs or something happening inside that's nice. Then I take a breath and I wait till I get back to relaxed breathing. Maybe that's two or three more breaths. And then I'll go again and do another exhale. And I'll do about, I like to do three rounds of this really minimum. Can't say I fully understand what's going on. There might be some repressurizing happening inside of the body, but I think a lot of us have quite slack stomachs. I know myself got quite a slack stomach. And so this is kind of rather than just thinking of sit-ups and six-pack and all that kind of stuff, it's a different way to work the stomach. And you think the ribs kind of end at a point and then there is a gap where our organs sit below the ribs where it can be affected like this. And so I just think it's a really cool thing to explore. Maxic really raves about it. A lot of other people through history, the yogis do it as well. Um, I think it's, it's something that I've added to my practice very regularly now. And so I like to start off with this before I get in, into any of the muscle control workout, and this is in the max outing system, this is the first thing that they do. So this is why I've got you to do this today. I like to work kind of from the center out, but these are the biggest muscles, so we'll get them firing first. So with your thumbs just kind of on your sides, just work on contracting the lats neutrally. So do both sides at the same time. And if you've done a few of them, then we can start to isolate. And so you can see dropping the shoulder down on each side to get much uh, deeper contraction into that side of the lat. Just some pulsing on each side. And then we can start to explore different shoulder ranges with the lat contraction. So a couple neutral, a couple one side. And then you wanna to start to imagine you kind of pulling your elbow towards your back pocket, but just exploring around. You're not going fully deep yet. Just, the, it's a big piece of meat, the lats. So just exploring around with the arms higher this time. Again, both sides in isolation. Then we can work on some internal rotation, see how the lat internally rotates the elbow. And then we can work really end range now. So the elbow really is touching the top of my glute on that side. And then some side body as well. So this isn't to the back pocket, this is just straight down to the pocket. Next, we're gonna work on the chest, very close to the center, close to the heart. So just nice and relax the body and then just together, squeezing the pecs and then work on some isolated pec contractions play with both pulsing sometimes sometimes holding the contraction and then we want to start to think while we're doing it as, as we get more comfortable with contracting it try to relax the other muscles so for me i can feel how my lats want to kick in when i squeeze my pecs sometimes my stomach wants to kick in sometimes my shoulders so just whatever's the, the most comfortable place for you to contract your pec while relaxing everything else. And then we can start to explore ranges. So arms above head is another great position to explore the pecs. It's such a big muscle that covers a lot of different ranges of motion. Maxic said you'd mastered pec muscle control when you could put your arms wide and still contract them like this image here. I'm not quite there yet. Next up, we've got the traps and notice Maxic's incredible trap control here and notice how he isn't corking his neck to even make that happen. Now this one I would recommend using a mirror for and it took me a while to get this, but when I did get it, it actually gave a lot of relief to my neck. I didn't realize how little my traps were actually 
able to activate. So to begin with, you might want to grab your hands together like this and pull apart. And as you do, think about the act of contracting the traps. And in the beginning, it will want to gawk your neck, but try to resist the neck actually retching forward. Another thing you can try is to push up with the opposite hand like this. And you can see how that slab of meat just above my shoulders pops up there. Then the game begins to try to contract the traps without contracting the lats and the pecs because they will want to kick in as well. As you can see here, my pecs kind of kicking in and I'm then trying to focus on relaxing the pec. And just to reiterate again, try to get it like Maxic where his neck is completely relaxed. I'm actually really pleased with how this progressed from in the beginning when I just couldn't, <laughs> couldn't contract it at all to now being able to see it kind of a, a big slab on top of my shoulders. A fun challenge to try that's actually in the muscle control book is to contract opposite trap and lat at the same time. So to start with, you want to contract both traps and then relax one, say relax the right trap and then contract the right lat. So you'll have the left trap and the right lat contracted at the same time. Here we can see Maxic's example of this with the left trap and the right lat contracted. What a back. So starting to work down the arm now, we've got the shoulder or the deltoids. Drop your shoulders slightly down and forwards and then lift the arm by contracting the shoulder. Notice how this will kind of rotate the arm as well. And then it's a big 180 kind of half dome, half sphere to explore. So you've got the rear delt that will lift up the arm up behind. You've got the kind of mid main delt that will just lift it up like a chicken wing. And then you've got the front delt that will kind of pull it across. So just in your own time, explore just the contraction. You can see really here, clearly here, the, the main delt lifting, chicken wing in the arm, just pulsing contractions, then moving into rear delt and then the front delt. Just nourishing and nurturing the shoulder. Next up, we've got the biceps. So you should be pretty versed with this one. I'm just going to contract the bicep that really at a short range here. You can see my thumb is touching my shoulder. The arm is relaxed. The hand is relaxed. And I'm trying to just contract the bicep, not the lat, not the shoulder, as much as I can. Now, this is still a game. It's going to take some practice. In the beginning, you might just want to focus on the contraction and not the relaxation. And then you can see here that I'm doing this kind of wrist flick to completely switch the bicep off as much as I can to show that it's kind of disconnected. When I flick the wrist backwards, it disconnects and then pull it in and contract. And then you want to explore with the hand pointing away as well, just to get the bicep is by its two muscles. And as we rotate the wrist away, it kind of hits the other half of the bicep, the short head and the long head. Shake it off and then swap to the other side. Once again, kind of thumb to the shoulder, focus on trying to contract the bicep, not the lat and the pec. We do the wrist flick. This just feels really natural and kind of nice with the pulsing, like rhythmical contractions. Switch off the bicep and contract it again. Next up, the other side of the arm, we got the tricep. So for this one, you wanna really ease into it gently, coaxing the tricep, Not nothing too intense on that elbow joint just yet. And we're gonna slightly pull the wrist up. So you can see my knuckles are bent and my wrist is slightly pulling up as I do it. It's kind of like a kneading, a kneading like kneading dough, kneading the tricep to contraction, nothing rushed. You can see there's like this, again, this wrist flick, we kind of reverse what we did with the bicep, we're flicking it in the other direction and we're exploring all 360 degrees because the tricep, of course, wants to be able to contract at all ranges. When we're running, it's behind us, and if we're pressing overhead, it's gonna be in front of us. You know, if we're doing breakdancing or something, it's gonna be across that body. So yeah, just exploring and kneading the tricep to contraction in all different ranges. So after this, what I like to do is revisit the bicep again, but this time I'm gonna do a slow curl. So rather than just a short range contraction, I'm gonna start at long range, contract the bicep, and then pull it in to short range. So put the arm out there, contract the bicep, trying to think about relaxing the tricep as I do it, and then slowly, while the muscle stays contracted, pull it in towards my body, kind of mimicking, pull up mimicking a row, but again, with the freedom of this, we get to explore all angles and just focus on the bicep contraction. So you can see here overhead, like a pull up and moving the hand across my chest to the side of my body. So I'm getting all ranges in while activating the bicep. Demonstration on the other arm here. And then we're gonna do the reverse of this and we're gonna swap to doing pushes. So we call it tricep extension, 
kind of like mimicking a press up. This is just a real safe way, no body weight to, and training the neural pathways of the mind, muscle connection to be like, this is what a push should feel like. So that when we do load it up, we proactively know how to push with the contraction of the muscle rather than the contraction of the muscle being a reaction to the direction we're trying to do. So it's very much an internal knowing of what a push feels like rather than an external action of pushing. And with the freedom of exploring the press in all these different angles, we become strong in all these different angles rather than just a linear pressing motion of a press up. In my opinion, the most beautiful muscle, the serratus anterior. So we want to interlace the fingers behind the head, lift the elbows, and then try and focus on contracting these muscles. For me, if I think about kind of driving my armpits forward, that helps these to contract. And you can see, you might again want a mirror for this to see that it's happening. If you can have that part of your body showing, and you can do one side at a time. So one arm behind the head like this. Just think about driving the armpit forward. You can see beautiful Maxix posture is there. Nice little feather wings muscle. Next up, we're going to work on the stomach. There are kind of four major muscles with the stomach. The rectus abdominis, which most people know, the six pack. Transverse abdominis and the internal and external obliques. But we're not going to complicate things. We're just going to focus on contracting every inch of the square or the rectangle that we can find and try to make it as isolated as possible. So working on left side, working on the right side, trying to contract it at the top, trying to contract it at the bottom. You can see my pecs getting majorly involved, so I'd have to watch that in the future, try to relax my pec and focus just on the stomach. But essentially, you're just gonna search all around, and then we've got the obliques. So the, for this, you kinda wanna rotate your ribs one way and the, and the hips the other way. Drop the shoulder down and kinda lift the hip. And it's just that kinda muscle just underneath the serratus. So again, shoulder kinda back and down, and it's the muscle in the middle of the body that kind of lifts the hips and pulls it forward. So you can see Max Six demonstration here. And last but not least, this is my own addition to the series and that's the spine. So you want to lie on your stomach like a baby and you're just going to explore all the muscles of the back that kind of lift the spine up. And you're going to use your arms to support you, especially in the beginning. So not just straight into some up dogs, using the elbows, using the hands a little bit and focus on the contraction of the muscles around the spine that are going to lift it and then you want to work the full range of it so let's break it down into three parts especially in the beginning upper back mid back and lower back so you can kind of see here i'm trying to focus on the lower back and relaxing the higher back and then stretch it off and just a couple of additionals for further exploration just to explore the stomach while lying on your back just to find the contractions and the light tensions where it holds you up and the sternocleidomastoid. I read this in one of the Maxic books, though there was no image, but essentially just contracting the muscles at the front of the neck. And it actually does feel like an important body that it gets easily missed. I know Weck loves to work on this muscle as well. And they say the neck contributes to the core and we work the back of the neck. This is the front of the neck. Now you've finished, you can either move on to the lower body workout, or if you just want to do upper body today, you can go and do some calisthenics, swing a kettlebell, swing a rope and enjoy.